Welcome to the Public Information Open House for the Florida Department of Transportation Project to study improvements to the Interstate 95 at LPGA Boulevard Interchange in Volusia County, Florida. Financial Project ID number 439-220-1-32-01. Project History The I-95 Interchange at LPGA Boulevard opened to traffic in early 1996. The interchange was constructed as a result of the LPGA Development of Regional Impact, or DRI. Since that time, there have been numerous new and planned developments around the interchange. Future Growth The area surrounding the I-95 at LPGA Boulevard Interchange continues to develop. Regional growth in the Volusia-Flagler area have increased trips to Daytona Beach. Also, the transportation network needs an alternative to US 92, International Speedway Boulevard, and State Route 40. Project Purpose and Need The purpose of this project is to provide operational improvements, improve safety, and accommodate future transportation demand. The need for the project is based on existing operational and safety issues and future transportation demand and capacity. The primary goal of this study is to identify improvements to the interchange that would enhance safety and operations within the interchange right-of-way. Existing Conditions – Traffic Volumes The existing average annual daily traffic, or AADT, for the interchange area is shown here. Current traffic volumes on LPGA Boulevard have surpassed historical highs. As for traffic operations at the interchange, at the southbound off-ramp, there have been few spillbacks onto I-95 over one mile long in the a.m. peak hour. And at the southbound loop on-ramp, there is a history of crashes within the loop and also at the merge with I-95. Future Conditions Due to the planned and approved development around the interchange area, traffic volumes are expected to grow substantially. To quantify this traffic growth, the planned and approved developments in the local area were coded into a travel demand model. The travel demand model growth was then compared to historical trends and population forecasts within the project area. As part of a safety study, crash data from 2012 through 2016 was analyzed. I-95 near LPGA Boulevard has a higher crash rate than state and district-wide averages, with a concentration of crashes at the I-95 southbound on and off ramps to and from LPGA Boulevard westbound. LPGA Boulevard has a higher crash rate than district-wide averages for an urban four-lane roadway, with a concentration of crashes on the eastbound approach of LPGA Boulevard at Williamson Boulevard. The I-95 at LPGA Boulevard Interchange Alternatives Analysis involves the study of a no-build alternative and multiple build alternatives. The potential effects of the alternatives on traffic operations, engineering, and the natural, social, and physical environment were compared. The no-build alternative replicates existing conditions and includes the recent reconstruction of the I-95 northbound off-ramp. The no-build alternative also includes other planned and programmed roadway improvements, such as the LPGA Boulevard widening to the east of the interchange. The advantages of the no-build alternative are that there would be no construction costs or disruption created by construction activities. There would also be no right-of-way impacts. Weaknesses of the no-build alternative are continued and worsening traffic delays and congestion, also future capacity, operational, and safety issues that have been identified would not be addressed. Three build alternatives were considered as part of this study. Alternative 1, the Diverging Diamond Interchange, or DDI, would widen LPGA Boulevard from an existing four-lane roadway to a six-lane urban arterial from Tomoka Farms Road to Technology Outlet Boulevard and provide improved I-95 entrance and exit ramps. The 45 mile per hour posted speed limit would be maintained except at the approaches to the crossover intersections. Here, speed control curves would be introduced to provide a traffic calming effect and promote safe and controlled operations for the intersections. Signal control would be provided at all intersections, including Tomoka Farms Road, 
Technology Outlet Boulevard, and the ramp terminals. The advantages of the DDI are it will improve safety by eliminating traffic queuing that backs up onto I-95 and eliminating the loop ramps and conflicting left turn movements. The DDI can accommodate future capacity improvements on I-95 and LPGA Boulevard. This alternative will safely accommodate pedestrians and bicyclists and will require little to no additional right-of-way. Furthermore, the DDI utilizes the existing bridge over I-95, which will reduce overall construction costs and construction duration. The weakness of the DDI alternative is related to traffic control during construction, as short-term detours are recommended to implement the new traffic configuration. Build Alternative 2 is the Double Crossover Merging Interchange, or DCMI. For this alternative, LPGA Boulevard will be converted into a four to six lane urban arterial from Tomoka Farms Road to Technology Outlet Boulevard. The 45 mile per hour posted speed limit will be maintained along LPGA Boulevard. The DCMI will improve the I-95 entrance and exit ramps and provide free flow ramp terminal operation. Signal control will only be necessary at the side street intersections of Tomoka Farms Road and Technology Outlet Boulevard. The advantages of the DCMI are that it improves safety by removing the loop ramps and providing free flow directional connections to LPGA Boulevard to eliminate traffic queuing that backs up onto I-95 and reduce conflict points at the ramp terminals. This alternative will eliminate the need for signals at the ramps which will improve traffic level of service within the immediate interchange area. The weaknesses of the DCMI are, the free flow conditions at the crossover intersections are likely to increase queuing and delay at the Tomoka Farms Road and Technology Outlet Boulevard intersections due to the challenges associated with coordinating signal progression with this type of interchange. This alternative is costlier to construct because it cannot utilize the existing bridge over I-95. Four new bridges would be required. While the DCMI can accommodate future capacity improvements on I-95, it does not readily support the future widening of LPGA Boulevard. It lacks pedestrian and bicycle continuity, has a greater impact on utilities than the other build alternatives, and would require some additional right-of-way and the DCMI has complex traffic control with significant detours that will require a longer construction duration. Build Alternative 3 is a roundabout interchange. For this alternative, LPGA Boulevard would be widened to a six-lane urban arterial from Tomoka Farms Road to Technology Outlet Boulevard and would maintain a 45 mile per hour posted speed limit, except at the roundabout intersections. Speed control curves would be introduced on the approaches of the roundabouts to provide a traffic calming effect and promote safe and controlled operation. The roundabout interchange would improve the I-95 entrance and exit ramps and provide free flow ramp terminals with signalized side street intersections at Tomoka Farms Road and Technology Outlet Boulevard. The advantages of the roundabout interchange alternative are that it improves safety by eliminating the interchange loop ramps and reducing conflict points at the ramp terminals. The existing bridge over I-95 could be modified and utilized, saving construction time and cost, and little to no additional right-of-way would be required. The weaknesses of the roundabout interchange alternative are that it provides a lower level of service than the other build alternatives. The three-lane roundabout configuration cannot be modified in the future to provide additional capacity on LPGA Boulevard. Additionally, signals must be used for pedestrian crossings and the multi-lane roundabout configuration would hinder bicycle operations. The comparative analysis of the alternatives also considers the potential effects on the natural, social, and physical environment. No wetlands or water quality impacts are anticipated. Water bodies present in the study area are limited to stormwater management, such as interchanged ponds and swales. No state or federally protected species have been identified in the study area. 
It is not anticipated that the build alternatives will negatively impact any social or cultural features within the study area. Potential impacts on the physical environment, which include utilities and potentially contaminated sites, have been preliminarily identified and will be analyzed in detail. The following matrix summarizes the findings of the comparative analysis. As shown, the no-build and roundabout alternatives will not improve the interchange's traffic operations. Overall, the DDI alternative ranks highest for traffic operations, engineering, and the low potential for effects on the natural, cultural, and physical environment. If converted into a diverging diamond interchange, or DDI, the LPGA Boulevard interchange ramps would be turned into crossover ramps and the loop ramps would be eliminated. The signalized crossovers, shown where the yellow and blue arrows cross, are designed to gently transition traffic from the right side of the road to the left side of the road and back. Drivers turning left from an exit ramp or to an entrance ramp are already on the left side of the road. They no longer have to cross paths with other traffic making these types of interchanges safer than traditional interchanges. This design also shortens crosswalk distances at intersections and, unlike conventional interchanges, pedestrians and bicyclists are safely accommodated within the interchange median. DDIs are designed to improve traffic flow and reduce congestion. Other benefits include fewer opportunities for crashes, better sight distance at turns, and a reduction of wrongway entries onto the interstate. Due to the operational and safety benefits of the DDI design, this innovative interchange type is being considered more often for improving existing interchanges. There are currently more than 90 DDIs being implemented in the U.S., and eight are under design and are construction in Florida. In summary, based on the analysis conducted for this study, improvements to the interchange within the FDOT right-of-way are necessary to address safety and operational needs. And the regional transportation network, including LPGA Boulevard, is not sufficient to accommodate future traffic demand from approved developments. Interchange study schedule. The Interchange Modification Report, or IMR, and the Alternatives Analysis Concept Memorandum for the recommended improvements to the I-95 at LPGA Boulevard Interchange will be finalized in early 2019, after public and agency input have been incorporated. The environmental analysis and preliminary plans for the recommended alternative are expected to be complete in the spring of 2019. This meeting project study is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida 32720. Email jennifer.smith, the number two, at dot.state.fl.us. Phone 386-943-5367. Or Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399. Email jacqueline.paramore at dot.state dot fl dot us phone eight five zero four one four four seven five three all inquiries or complaints will be handled according to f dot procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner f dot welcomes your comments there are several ways to provide your input or ask questions you may speak with a project representative at this open house complete a comment form, send comments or questions by mail or email or by calling the FDOT project manager, or visit the project webpage on cflroads.com and click on the Ask a Question button.
Thank you for attending the Florida Department of Transportation's I-95 at LPGA Boulevard Interchange Improvement Study Public Information Open House. If you have questions, please ask a project representative tonight or contact the project manager, Mr. Hatem Aguib, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720. Email H A T E M dot A G U I B at D O T dot state dot F L dot U S. Phone 386 943 5559. His contact information is also provided on the open house handout and comment forms. This presentation will restart from the beginning in approximately two minutes.